Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is the Norse Fury Campaign. Jorvik prospers. We've taken a bunch of random counties in various different spots and now we're going for one that will be rather dear to our heart. We're going for Middlesex. Middlesex is likely to become our capital. It is currently slightly less upgraded than our capital. Quite a bit less upgraded than our capital, but it sits in a profitable region to have as a capital. Lots of coastal provinces. Coastal provinces are good both because you can get boats out of them and because you can get uh, ports. Where is the port? We can, have, we can have ports, right? Yeah, castle shipyards, which are useful for galleys. And then isn't there a... Have they got rid of ports? Or maybe that's only on towns. Yeah, the ports are on towns. That's right. There's also three here. We also actually have three, but still. Probably going to put the capital in Middlesex long term. This seems like a, a good spot <clears throat> for a capital to me. So, let us... It's weird how... Hang on, have I got the music turned away? I think I have the music too low. Let me bump the music. And then just lower the volume overall. Alright, that's a bit better. Okay, so, we declared war. We are at war with Wessex. Wessex, of course. The kingdom that historically unified England, I believe. So, we'll head south. We should rally up the men. We'll go to Jorvik, and then we can march south from there. Let's go speed three. Should play it careful. Actually, maybe we shouldn't. <clears throat> maybe we should rush south as soon as possible. Yeah, I prefer that idea. And we're going to call in our vassals. Yeah, these guys should charge south. Um, ooh, hello. There are many mysteries in the dramatic face. It might be interesting to listen to ancient stories told by the Godies. Absolutely. I shall summon storytellers. Why not? And they will honor their obligation. They'll honor their obligation. Good. So we're getting lots of allies coming to help us out. And when I say allies, of course, I mean tributaries. Yeah, if we rush south with these guys, that seems smart because uh, we want to preferably get to them before they can finish rallying. Aha! He likely hates me now and wishes me dead. The feeling is, of course, mutual. We will be enemies till the end. Keep antagonizing him and we become bitter rivals. I will. Purge your bloodline from this earth. Not your bloodline, sorry. Your dynasty. I'm in your bloodline. <laughs> a peasant revolt against this guy. I don't really care about this guy anymore. We just we were just interested in him for the duel. I mean, he has, he's our pal, but we don't really care about him beyond that. Defensive pack has been dismantled. Excellent. Is that your whole army? God, that's embarrassing. All right, everyone just rally to Middlesex. My concubine is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? I really don't care if my concubine cheats on me, to be honest. There are 2,500 of them. Let's try and avoid a river crossing here. Is there one between here and here? Where is that? Gwent. There is not. So we will go here and then into Gwent. And we will, of course, lead the center and smash into them. They are going to get a hills bonus, but the hills bonus is not nearly as bad as the river crossing. Come on. Duel. 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 I believe. Please. Please. Nah, I don't think we're going to get one. Aha! But we did get this guy to sacrifice to Odin. Excellent. And this guy? Alright, fine. I'll, I'll keep him a prisoner. We should ransom him. We are a little low on money. I know Shattered Retreat makes the game easier. <clears throat> or rather, having it off makes the game easier. But it just makes so much more sense. Because if you smashed an army here, realistically, in medieval times, they wouldn't retreat one tile or we actually kill the entire thing. We, they wouldn't, you know, retreat one tile and then get smashed. They just dismantle. Like, bat wars in this era, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not, by no, by no means am I the most knowledgeable among historians, or even a, a, any his, kind of historian, but in my, to my knowledge, if a battle happened, hey, nice, we've got ancient wisdom and religious studies. Give me some more learning, which is great for getting tech. If you're not familiar how tech works, by the way, you get points based on your, there's military, Stewardship and sorry, military, economic, and cultural. Cultural gets points based on your diplomacy plus learning. Uh, this one gets stewardship plus learning, and this one's martial plus learning. So, learning is just brilliant for technology, which is why it is an important stat. But we are not scholars, we are warriors, so we won't worry about it too much generally in this campaign. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, in, in this era. Battles were very, so not battles, wars were very frequently decided by one decisive battle. That's why that one battle gives you, you know, 75 war score or something. Yeah, 75, the cap. 
War Score. What are you up to? Defending against King Harstein the Drunkard's prepared invasion. He's got 10,000 men. This guy has 1,000 men. I think we might do a subjugation war against Brittany. <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, yes, yeah, so if, if, if Jorvik came south, for example, odds are there'd be one devastating battle between them and Wessex, and then if Jorvik won, the war would be over. Jorvik would march on the capital, siege down the capital, and then the war would end, and there would be no more decisive battles. Such as it was for, for example, Harold Hardrada's invasion of England and William of Normandy's invasion of England. Um, so it just makes sense. It just makes sense that you, you, you should, if you win one really massive battle, nine times out of ten, you should just win the war. So I don't mind having uh, a Chester Tree on. Or rather off. Someone is trying to kill me. Do we know about the plot? We do. My daughter-in-law. My steward is helping. Stop that. Stop backing plot. How dare you? At least because we caught him. He doesn't like us being ruthless. We are killing quite a lot of people in duels, in fairness. And the kin slaying, yeah, yeah, whatever. Have you still not received my stop backing plot thing? Look, stop backing the plot. We've got quite a lot of men all of a sudden. Okay, good, but that will make him like us a lot more because we were merciful. We could have just thrown him in jail and all that good stuff. You are going to jail, however. She fled the court. Well, there you go. I stole your title off you anyway. Now my son just remains. And your child should be the heir to both. Oh no, because it was a, um, a, what do you call it? A temple holding. Temple holdings aren't dynastic. Doo -doo. So we might as well just let the people keep sieging until they're actually prepared to come and fight us. Because we're making loads of money out of these sieges. Yep, looks like Brittany's going to win. <laughs> we'll see. A daughter was born. The daughter will struggle. The daughter will be educated by a struggler. We need brilliant martial men and women to be my shield maidens. Maybe the women will be my shield maidens, but you know what I mean. All right, so, do you get any traits? You got no traits? You're educated by my wife? No, 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 no. You're mine. Where am I? No. Oh, my son. Yeah, get a bond between you and my son going, and yes, yeah, struggle. So it looks like they're going to win, but they also have to beat this army. If they'd unified, they'd have had a problem, but yeah, as you can see, I laid out my sieges specifically so that Wessex couldn't unify their men together. I didn't expect it to help out Brittany, but there you go. Are we not personally... We are. We're personally leading the siege of Wessex. Good. We can recruit a royal physician. Oh no, our physician died. Didn't we seduce our physician at one point? No, that's right. We seduced the... Uh, uh, the woman in our, our guild. A fair exchange. Uh, 23 learning, renowned physician, quick. Oh my god, yes, please. Absolutely welcome to my halls, Ale. You get to be a Hinderman. And I want to make friends with you. So these guys are not all hostile to me. Your vision turns red with blood, lest you charge ahead without regard for your safety as your nearest companions. Hurry to keep up, you surrender, you're to your berserker rage as your axe cuts a wide swathe in enemy ranks. You've selled half a dozen foes. 200 prestige and a marshal. I love being a warrior viking, it's so good. So they're trying to siege it back, but you can see actually only 450 of them, sorry, 480 of them are hostile to us. I am just going to keep sieging these guys, uh, just because there's loot in it for us, basically. We don't, we aren't getting the actual loot right now, we're just getting the, um, in fact, that's a good point. We've won the war, so everyone return home, and then we're going to flag looters. Uh, yeah, sure, path through them. Should only be the 460. If all the rest fight, I'm going to be confused and annoyed. Yeah, I'm confused and annoyed. We were only hostile to a very small group of them, so I guess we retreat. I think retreating from battles has a chance of giving you, um... See, now we're fighting these guys, but we're barely hostile to a bunch of them. Like you, for example. I'm not hostile to you. So I guess if you attach an army, you're just automatically hostile to everyone that's hostile to them. Regardless of, uh, you know, any other reasons. The Shia have risen up. They fight amongst themselves. Fools. Oh, hello. Hello! <laughs> Good lord, we got a lot of people there. Okay. Why was I hostile? To Huda Vendigar. Ah, because Huda Vendigar sided against Brittany. 
Hello. My rival, no less. He will make an excellent sacrifice to Odin. Can I kill him from here? I want to try try a, an exploit. We're going to kill him from here. And then we're going to kill him here. Oh, it didn't give us the modifier, though. All right, there he goes. My nephew's dead. That kills our truce with uh, Sudavendigar. Hello. Do you not like me by any chance? <laughs> Ginslayer, merciless. Yeah, yeah. Antagonize. <laughs> I will end you, Hudavendigar. Alright, you two. This doesn't give us any piety, so we should probably just imprison them. And then... Oh, good lord, we have a lot of prisoners. Let's uh, ransom all prisoners. Okay, so we're going to walk out. Except uh, paying your ransom. Oh, no, wait, yeah, you can't toggle looters during wars anymore. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Well, we'll just win the war then. Jovic Conquest in Middlesex is complete. We win. Middlesex is mine. Nice. And we will keep hold of it personally while giving away probably this one. Oh, actually, that's pretty upgraded. We are probably going to give away Jorvik itself. Uh, so I think we'll go up this one because that's got the least subholdings. All right, search the world. I would like load up the, the men filters. Uh, yes, join court. Okay. Find me a martial, martial man who's young and in their prime. These eyes aren't that good. How about a steward? Stewards convert land quickly. All right, give me him. Can I write? I wish... They, I kind of feel like there should be a way to just rival people at will. But, oh well. All right, men can stand down. Wait a minute. A bunch of them died when they stood down. There are no hostile man, men in my lands. I'm not at war. We're going to accept. Nice. We can hold a great blot. Oh, hell yeah. I haven't been on a blot yet, have we? Or a blute, I think it's called. Nice. Hold a great blute together with your vassals and offer sacrifice to the gods for good harvest and success on the battlefield. Can we be done every ninth year? I can hardly wait. Summon my vassals to the blute. The carnate faith. I don't really mind, to be honest. Where is that, even? Oh, hello. There's loads of Jews in this start date, apparently. Oh, yeah, it's Kazaria, I, f I remember. Where even is the Carnate Faith? I have no idea. Anyway. Now for the human sacrifice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where's your blessed virgin now? Piety and prestige. Heck yeah. Where is your blessed virgin now, Bathid? <laughs> Our kill count ever rises. He is a most disgraceful king. And we got under his skin. Nice. We are now 50, which is worrying. We need to form the kingdom before we die. Where's your breasted virgin now? <laughs> Excellent. Executing all these Catholics. All right, nice. Celebrations begin. You can go free. You can't be ransomed right now. Oh, no, he's already being ransomed. Okay. He accepts. He accepted a ransom for someone else when he can't afford his own ransom. So I'm afraid you get to die. Our kill count has reached 23. <laughs> nice. So this still hasn't changed at all. I wonder. Maybe we found a kingdom or get our own bloodline. That'd be cool. Appears I'm not alone in despising King Barad. Nice. This guy who's in his in his uh, court. Or his kingdom even. Maybe he could help us murder him. No, he's not actually in his court, is he? Unfortunate. Alright, well, when the, when the Blute celebration finishes... We, we're currently doing the Blute still, right? Uh, maybe not, actually. Oh, this stacks! Oh my god. If we stack this up, we're gonna get ridiculous personal combat skill. Look at this guy! He's amazing! How have we still not killed our wife? Oh, people have left the plot. Alright, fine. Fine. Oh, no, no, no. This guy will help. Come join my plot. Okay, we can get back, back above 100. I was gonna say, fine, we won't kill my wife, but... I really want to. Alright, let's take Suffolk off this guy. Boom. My Suffolk. Until next time. So what's the modifier from this? 15% morale of armies. It's so good. You should really keep that until before you do a like a really big... Uh, hey. Steward. Steward. Didn't I just tell you to stop backing this plot? Now Eric is going to join. Defensive pack opposing the Carlings has been disbanded. Oh, hello. Aquitaine. Interesting. So I guess the southern kingdom conquered Francia. 
because he now holds both titles with Aquitaine as his primary. Let's just assault our way through here. I want to get the ticking war score. And then we can head north. Oh, here's a battle. We can go take him. We might as well raise up our levies. Oh, right. I never gave away that land. So, we'll just find someone else. <laughs> Rather than using the guy we originally used. That's fine. Here you. Come to court. He's relatively old and he's a mastermind theologian, so we have a relatively good chance of inheriting it back off him. It's quite an... Uh, one kind of fun-ish thing you can do is... Get your... This is friendship. My vassal. I always want to be friends to my vassals. Um, one thing you can do is give lots of titles to... Um, you won't... I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. Oh no, don't, don't go there until he locks. Okay. And then personally lead the charge. I know we're old and we mustn't die before we get succession, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to personally lead every combat. I mean, are you kidding? We have to. Hail Warrior, it has come to your attention that your son, Frigory, remains outside our fold. We urge you to talk to him into becoming a member. I thought he was a member. No, my other son was a member, that's right. Hey, son. Stop backing a plot. Oh, that's my plot. <laughs> Don't stop backing my plot. You! So how dare you back a plot to kill me? Okay, my son. Why can't I uh, recruit? Because characters are not busy or fighting in a war. Okay, so we need to stop being in a war. And then we'll be able to do it. Yes, one-on-one! -on -one. Kill him! Kill him! He's a possessed, stressed man. <laughs> Probably because his entire family is getting exterminated. <laughs> Alright, well, we took out his army, but sadly, sadly didn't catch him. We can invest in tech, but we won't because we're going to save up our tech points until our capital is down in metal sex, which we could do right now, actually. Move capital. Can only move it in peacetime. That's all kinds of sensible. We must remember, never assault with... Uh, event spawn troops. We can assault with our vassals troops. That's fine. But not with event spawn troops. Do 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 do. Colonize, but we don't need to. Did we get that new guy? Yeah. Frederick, welcome. You can have this one. York something. Yordale. Congratulations. Please don't die before I establish this kingdom. My health is okay, right? Yeah, we've got brawny. Doesn't that add health? Yeah, we've got plus one health there. This goes like 0.5. Yeah, 0.5 health there. 0.5 health from well-fed. Only for a couple of hours. Uh, a couple of hours. A couple of uh, years. Viking doesn't give health. Scarred doesn't hurt health, I believe. Yeah. Okay. There's 100%. But I'm going to do one last assault anyway, just to, to really stick it to him. Oh, yeah, and potentially, come on, come on, duel. <laughs> duel in, like, the two-day combat. Nah, it didn't work out. Never mind. We win. Give me Suffolk. Nice, which gives us a sea connection to Middlesex. I think it might be multiple tiles that count as actually having a sea connection. So, like, if we own Hull, maybe we can own Middlesex, because it's only, like, one, two, three sea zones away. But I don't know. Probably that's what the different rules are about. All right, give that away. Bishopric of Ilay. He... Is that a hair lip? Ah, oh, it's a hair lip. I thought it was just sneering. <laughs> you, um... I want to revoke your title. Or hurt my vassal's opinion. Oh, yeah, right. We can probably uh, centralize. No? Two years until we can centralize a bit more. Okay. And what do we need to reform into a... Uh... How do you even do that? I haven't done it in so long. How do you reform again? It's like a decision? No, no, that's right, we're already feudal. I keep thinking, how are we going to reform from being tribal? But that's right, we're feudal. I knew that. Warwick, are you the same guy? I think you are. We need to lower our levies, but anything else. Okay. So, lower them. Hey, Warwick. Declare war. Hey, our truce is over. Okay. So now, we could make the Duchy of Lancaster. And that would give us the jour on there. And then, are there any others we could make? No. If it's just a de jour on one place... There's no point. We could always just do it ourselves. Fine. I'll do it myself. And all that good stuff. Alright, so in the next episode, we're going to go against Warwick. Warwick, you're my secondary blood feud right now. Mostly, I don't like this guy. Do we have any rivals? I want more rivals so we can duel them. Can you just duel... You can't duel whoever you want, can you? No, it's a shame. I wanted to just duel amongst my friends in the society. That'd be fun. 
What else can we do? Summon Lodge Commander. Right, right, we need to recruit our child. Recruit to Warrior Lodge. And I'll give you a gift. Love me. Join my lodge. Oh, he's going to trial. He's only got 21, though. He might lose. Right, we don't want Suffolk. So, um, new guy. Stewardy boy. You, good sir, come to my court. And we'll give you Suffolk. Excellent. Come on, my son. Persevere. I believe in you. Please, win your trial. Oh, God! He's injured. Did he make it through his trial, though? He's got some dual experience. He's got a black eye. That's probably how the other person got a black eye. Yes! He's joined me for dinner and not stopped talking about his initiation duel. It was exhilarating. And now I am one of the wolf warriors. I knew you had it in you. Hell yes. That's great. So he'll start gaining renown and levels before we even get to him. He is currently wounded and black eye. But both those will go away and his, his uh, skill will come back up. Nice. We've got loads of renown now. What are the other things we could do at this level? Right, shield maidens. But I don't think we have any of our family ready for, to become a shield maiden yet. She's working on it. She's got two martial. She's timid. No. That's not what we want at all. All right, Warwick. And we're going to take this one just so we can have nice contiguous borders. Give me Lindsay, please. He's got 600 men and no allies. Well, more fool you. Give me Lindsay. Raise up the men. We have very few levies because we're being so aggressive at the moment, but... Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Diffin, what are you up to? You can't have this tile. I'll take that off you. Oh, he declared independence from, uh, from Sudvendigar. Cool. I thought... Sudvend... Not Sudvendigar. Brittany, aren't you at war with... Uh... Oh, no, he's at war with Wessex. Okay. So when he wins that, we'll try and subjugate him and take all of the southern bit off him, and then we'll be able to kill... Uh, to kill. To form England, which would be marvellous. Problem is, Wessex has, like, no army. So we need to get some war score from battles. I don't know how exactly we're going to do that. I guess we'll send these guys south. Smash the remaining tiny bit of his army. Truces are expiring. The one with the uh, northern petty kingdom over there. Hmm, he's concerned. He's overeating. Oh no, are you fat? He's not fat. Fat presumably doesn't help your personal combat skill. If I had to guess. He's brave. Uh... He could use a bit of meat on him. I'll tell him to eat less. Yeah, don't eat too much, my son. We don't want him to get fat because we want him to be able to duel. He must be swift and agile. My seer was killed by heathens. And she's completely failed to spell spread the faith. Oh, well. The best way to spread the faith is just to hand all the land out to different people. But, uh, so each person has one tile. Nice, we can make our court position our freaking seer. That's brilliant. Um... Because it's based on your stewardship, there's a pretty rap pretty fast meantime to happen event which uh, converts territory. But unfortunately, this land I want to hold myself, so we need to get it converted. But yeah, the heretic stronghold is a bit of a problem. Alright, well, we'll handle this in the next episode. I think I already said that, but then never actually ended the episode. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did hit the like button, it helps out a great deal. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.